Hi and welcome back to Metamore's Emerging Technology Show. My name is John Hamilton and today we're going to be interviewing, interviewing even Chris Roll, Mortgage Escape. introduce you to Chris. Chris, good afternoon. Good afternoon, John. Thank you very much for, for joining the show and being part of the interview today. Absolute pleasure. Um, so Chris, um, Mortgage Escape we'll come to in just a few moments, but can you tell me first of all and tell our audience first of all a bit about your background please? Okay, so originally a banking background, um, promoted through the Commercial Bank of Australia which merged with Bank of New South Wales to become Westpac. So. Yeah. A long time ago uh, was the beginning. So uh, in the bank for about ten years, last four years uh, in St George's Terrace um, in the legal department. Went from there into a, a building society. Then I, I moved through to business and property settlements with a legal firm yeah. on the terrace. And then I went into the insurance industry in 1989, which uh, eventually became the financial planning industry. Right. And I've been doing financial planning um, from that point on. So you're a West Australian, I am. from West Australia? Yes. Wow. I think <laughs> they're very rare now, Chris. There's mostly, mostly not original West Australians in West Australia now, it feels like, to be honest. And obviously I can't comment too much as, I, as I'm not originally from here, uh, but brought the family here just, I think, six years ago now. Yep. But um, in terms of the financial history and the background there, how long ago was that that... Um, that you were in the you were in the original part of the financial planning industry. Nineteen eighty nine. Nineteen eighty nine. February. Okay. So what have you been up to since then? Not much. <laughs> I've, been, I've been financial planning the whole time, basically. Yep. So in those days, it was a different it was a different scenario, um, and the the insurance industry um, would originally in have have uh, people who were advisors, and um, they were responsible for the advice, and they did the training. Yep. Um, it's a bicycle clip type insurance industry that, that you heard heard about and you were by law uh, required to serve that company's best interests yep. prior to that of the client which is what the big difference now is of course where you're looking to um, and must take your client's best interests yep. um, into account before anybody else. Yep. So um, it went from that to growing a business um, becoming a, what they called a general agent um, when the insurance companies realised they didn't want to take responsibility for the people they'd trained and they put that responsibility on the people they called general agents uh, who were still the same people, basically. So you um, were self-employed at that point? Or? Oh, yes, you're always self-employed. Right, okay, yep. Yeah, um, even, even, as a, um, even as an agent of the superannuation fund, mine was Norwich Union. Right. Um, should be familiar to you. Yes. Uh, mine was Norwich Union, uh, but you were still self-employed. You right. got paid on commission, so I've been a commission agent for 30 years. Um, and then it just grew through there. Um, different regulations, different uh, mindsets, different um, governing bodies um, have, especially recently with Royal Commission, it's going to change uh, yeah. really drastically. But um, as, as things change, you move with them or you choose not to. Fair enough. But I, I know, Chris, from our previous conversations that your approach to financial planning uh, and perhaps the things that you might have recommended to clients was a bit different. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think that's fair to say. Um, different good, I'm sure. <laughs> well, that's the plan, you know. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, really, it revolves around this, this banking background, I yeah. think, John, to, to be honest. Um, my brother's in the bank, my father was in the bank, my, yeah. both grandfathers were in the bank. We're bankers. Fair enough. Careful. Yes. Um, so we're bankers and realistically when it came to insurance I was interested in people protecting those assets that they had yep. and understanding how, how loans and banking worked. Um, I focused on rather than, especially when we got to the financial planning stage when people's mindset went from protection to investment. Yep. Um, What's your best investment? My answer was typically, well, you're your best investment. What's your biggest risk? 
and the answer was, well, probably the house. The house we, okay. We've got security in the house. and I think there's a, a disconnect you know, and always has been and remains between what people understand a financial planner is yeah. and what an investment advisor yeah. is. So I put my focus on planning and yeah. I revolve my planning around, first and foremost, reducing debt in the home, yeah. allowing, therefore, for other uh, opportunities to yeah. protect those, those assets first. As a, as a financial planner, if your pr primary or most common um, conversation with clients is, is around paying down the debt first, that must have had a serious impact on your income because that's not an income generating um, revenue stream for a financial planner, is it? No, absolutely not. It's it's actually um, a, simply a strategy. So initially what I was doing with people, as I got older, so did my, my client base, so yep. which, is, which is logical. Um, and as they got older, as, as is the Australian way, once you, you become successful, you do your very best to, to increase your debt, to keep yourself under pressure, so you buy a bigger house. And my clients were coming back to me and saying, Chris, I, I, need, to, I need to reduce my insurances. And I would say, why is that? Has your debt reduced? No, my debt's increased. I just can't afford the insurances now. Mm -hmm. So we're immediately at cross purposes for, for what we were trying to achieve. Um, and therefore, I got more deeply involved in showing people actual strategies that they could understand, mostly at that point to say, yeah. you can't afford your insurances, don't take them away. In fact, you probably should be increasing them. I would write a plan, give it to the client and say, here's your proof, yeah. stay with me okay. um, and, and continue with those insurance products. So um, I used it, I guess, um, in sales terms as a lost leader, yeah. um, but, but proof, proof of concept. You know. If you use the products that are provided to you properly, mm. um, the, and the bank's been providing them forever, if you use them properly, then there is no reason for you to, to do the things you're talking to me about doing, really. Yeah. So um, I considered charging a plan fee for a period of time, but my attitude has been, as a traditional life insurance salesman, my attitude has been you get paid a commission for a reason, and it's enough. Yeah. And it was up until recently. Okay. So your main business now, though, Mortgage Escape, yes. has nothing to do with financial planning in its own right, does it? No. It's a, um, it grew out of the, that same planning, yeah. planning mindset. So the reason Mortgage Escape um, is now the, the, the flagship of what I'm trying to achieve in the financial services industry is simply that it's designed for a client to be able to provide their information to me yep. in their terms to dictate to me what they want using a program that just relates simply to their mortgage in the first instance. Right. I'm not selling a product out of the back end of right. Mortgage Escape. I, I will recommend that they look at specific areas. Yep. If they choose, they can use my financial planning firm. If they don't want to, that's not what Mortgage Escape's about. What is Mortgage Escape about? Mortgage Escape about is about exactly the same as it, as it ha always has been. Find a way to pay less interest mm. on your loan. It's not, it's not complicated. You don't want to do anything with the banks that are going to um, be revolutionary. Mm. But it's very simple once you understand. I think it's important, John, to understand that people don't, first of all, understand what a loan is. Right. And they don't understand that they have a contract. Okay. And they don't understand that if they pay this amount of money that they've been told they have to pay for 30 years, that they're going to pay three times as much for their home as they, as they actually have to, pardon me. Three times as three much? Three times as much. So, In general. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. so, so what we're saying is that you can actually pay off the home loan or the, the, this, contract, this contracted debt mortgage three times faster? Potentially. Right, okay. Well, that's very interesting. If you follow a plan. If you follow a plan. And if you understand why you're doing it. Okay. And, and that's your plan? Yeah, sure. Okay. Absolutely. That plan was always there for my financial planning clients, but it was based on assumptions. It was saying, look, understand how to use the system. What okay. Mortgage Escape does is takes it to two or three levels higher. Right. It'll show a client that, that snapshot of what can be done. Yep. Um, and then we have the opportunity to say to them now through modern technology that I have other people help me with, um, the clients can now put their information in the back end of the program, yeah. uh, put their bank account into the program, have an app so that they can see what's happening with their with their bank accounts and their 
loans and all the documentation they might have, have the ability to look at all their assets and their liabilities in a snapshot instantly, basically, which I find astounding, to yep. be honest. Uh, but they can do all of those sorts of things now through Mortgage Escape, and that's, that's in the marketplace and has been there for a while. The difference, our point of difference, I believe, is that we then take all that information and we apply it to the plan. Yep. And the plan is, the, the, the goal is, the trophy at the end of all of this is to, uh, is to own your home three times as quick. Yeah, because yeah. then you can do more, you can go on more holidays. Yeah, absolutely. Farm, it's light family. at the end yeah. of the tunnel. Yeah. yeah, no, fair call. That's yeah. excellent. So if I, if I just check my understanding, so 30 years of financial planning has resulted in a, a distilled plan that allows people to pay the mortgage three times faster. And there's an app for it, and they can yeah. get online. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you do the app yourself? Uh, I wrote, yeah, I've written, not the app, no, no, <laughs> no, no I, it took me a while to understand what app meant, um, yep. no, not the app, that's that's provided by another group um, of IT um, experts, yep. I wrote the debt reduction strategy yep. program, um, wow. mostly myself, Okay. so I'm not Excel trained, um, and I think that's that's an important point, um, in when, when Line of Credit came into Australia from uh, from America and Citibank took it up, I, I didn't believe that that worked, so I grabbed an Excel spreadsheet and my brother-in-law was a programmer and he showed me how to do little bits here and there yep. to prove to me that a Line of Credit will work if you, if you use it properly, right. and it did. Um, it grew from there. It grew okay. from me saying, well, okay, now they're telling me this can be done, prove it. Okay. So now, now we we have um, we have a macro enabled Excel program, which hopefully in, in due course will become um, a full program. Yeah. Um, in in terms of com in, in computing terms. Um, so this is a brand new business. This is just starting up now, is it? Mortgage Escape's been around for about three years. Right. Okay. It was created with um, the changes in education that I new were coming which yep. have now come about for financial planners yeah so you're going to need to have a lot more uh or it's going to be a lot your, your educational standards are going to be a lot more highly regulated than they ever were which is a good thing great great thing provided yep. you understand that pardon my jaundiced view here provided you understand that if you get too educated in financial planning you tend to overcomplicate the process right. and the people you're explaining it to have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. So there's a real grounding that's going to be missed, I think, yeah. in the long run. But the other sad part about it is that the guys who have been in it for 30 years aren't going to go back and do that study. Right. Okay. They so don't have the time plus run a business to do that. So we're going to lose a lot of experience out of the industry in the next couple of years, you think? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Well, that's not great. Okay. So in terms of um, clients, you said it's been running for just over three years now. Yeah. So how many people would you say have been through the whole mortgage escape planning process <clears throat> and had this benefit of your expertise on this? Look, um, mortgage escape itself or mortgage escape combined with tailor-made? What if, is the... The planning business, yeah. sorry. So in terms of the, the, the process that now exists just in mortgage escape, the debt reduction strategy that we're talking about in terms of the um, um, how to pay the mortgage off three times yeah. faster, yeah. Um, how long was that? process been, or how many clients, should I say, we know it's been three years from all we just gave, but how many clients have been through that yeah, um, maybe process? Maybe a hundred or so. A hundred yeah, or so, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty impressive. Um, look, it's a it's a program that was built for a business-to-business -business relationship. Right, okay. Because the advice piece was starting to look to be over-regulated, in my okay. opinion, Yeah. Um, and the amount of compliance you had to go through to actually give advice that had nothing to do with the compliance piece, yeah. um, it became, uh, it was rapidly becoming very difficult to do. So the decision to create Mortgage Escape was to allow us to go out to other financial professionals, yeah. mortgage brokers principally, yeah. and talk to them about providing a service to their clients yeah. and us dealing with the broker direct. Okay. It's now evolved a little further than that. Sure. But then, as I understand it, again, the, the nuts and bolts of it is is that you can ha you can help through either directly through the client or through other financial service professionals, help just basically help people and help people with the the, the biggest millstone around their necks yeah. in life, which quite often is um, the financial burden of the, the family home. Yep. Um, 
and that can change everything I mean, in terms of... Uh, look, absolutely. There, there needs to be a hub, in my opinion, somebody yep. that people can turn around to and say, well, you're not selling me a product first, yep. you're selling me a strategy that yep. I will either like and adopt or I won't. Okay. It's, it's no more complicated than that. So yep. it all ties back to the same things, though. Um, yeah. the, the mortgage is a millstone. Yeah. But people don't understand how uh, a principal and interest loan works and yeah. how most of most of the money going out, in yeah. fact, ninety <laughs> percent of the money going out in the first instance is interest. Sorry, in the first instance is interest. Yeah. So the trick of mortgage escape is to say we're going to turn as much as we can uh, that emphasis around. So. Uh, more becomes principal, and yeah. principal means you pay your mortgage off more yeah. quickly. Less interest means you pay less interest. It's it really is quite a basic process. It's just that you're not taught it. Oh, okay. I know brokers who don't really understand what an amortisation table is. And why why don't you think we're taught it? Why don't you think we're we're, we're taught how the, am the amortisation, which is the repayment of, of the loan, works, and how and how to pay the loan off more quickly? It's what? a fabulous question. I have no idea okay. what the answer to that is. I didn't know. So I hold an Australian financial services licence yes. at the top end of financial planning. I've been in banking basically all my life really, yeah. um, dealt in financial products for over 36 years yeah. and nobody ever really sat down with me and said, this is how it works. Okay. No one ever did that. It's only when I started fooling around with Excel, to be honest, yeah. um, and rechecking and checking again about this one third time potentially. Yeah. Um, because I was, it didn't make any sense. How, sure. how can that possibly be? That you start to understand about um, how compounding can work in your favour, not just by putting money in a bank on a regular basis and then paying yeah. tax on it, but it can work by not paying interest yeah. and, and creating savings and leaving them in an environment where you won't pay tax on it because you haven't earned the interest, you just haven't paid it. Mm. It sounds like a secret, to be honest, but a secret that's been hidden in plain sight. Yeah. It's right in front of us, we can't see it. But it's there, okay, and you're willing to share that with people. Well, of course. Okay, yeah, well, that's excellent. Okay, so what would be the next steps then, Chris, if somebody like myself wanted to come and see you and find out more about this whole thing? It's really just a phone call. Okay, it's just come in. There's no cost to to find out what we're talking about because what we're talking about is obvious. Right. Okay. Really, um, it's easy to explain. The program now is to the point where, um, with a with a reasonably small amount of mm -hmm intrusion into your financial circumstance, we yep. can give you a snapshot of what might be. Okay. Um, then if you, you say, well, gee, that makes sense, I want to take that further and I want to have this, this company in my life, because yeah. that's what you're doing, yeah. um, and, and we put together a, a live plan, some, some real nitty-gritty life plan, and, and it might uncover some gremlins that you probably knew were there but didn't want to deal with. Yep. Now you can. McDonald's probably for my family. Yeah. <laughs> well, it does identify that. Yeah. yeah the the program tell, knows, knows where you're buying your undies, to be honest. Does it yeah, work? Yeah. Yeah. Probably got a photo. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> About all that data is, I'm sure, kept secure. Yeah, of course. No, okay. Of course. Yeah, no, that, that has to be done. Yeah, it's the same, same level of security as, as banks. Yeah. But like when I learned to drive, they taught me to drive, I passed my driving test and I went off and drove and I probably didn't drive anywhere near as good as I did to pass my test. Yep. Is there any follow-up or tracking or in terms of once the plan's done, do you, do you just send them out into the, into no, the world? No, no. Well, look, um, to, be, to be perfectly frank, that's what happened with the financial planning side of things, but with the full knowledge that they were my clients yeah. and I was going to see them every year yeah. and I would ask them a question about the plan. The problem with that was, and I'd see them about their insurances and those sorts of things, the problem with that was um, they wouldn't adopt the plan necessarily. Yeah. They know that it works. They know the theory's right. So it mean to. Yeah, okay. I meant to, but I just yeah. kind of didn't. I meant to go to the gym. Yeah, that, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And you know, you know, the difference is that you meant to go to the gym, but it hurts a little more because you're paying a gym fee. Yeah. They meant to do what I told them to do, but it didn't really hurt that much because they didn't charge them a fee for it. Oh, okay. So now Mortgage Escape says, look, um, we are going to intrude. You can turn this off any time you like, but yeah. John, we're going to set targets in there that relate to this plan and the, the software is going to track it and we're going to send you emails and we're going to say, well done, hopefully. Yep. Or, oh, you're amber. That's great. Yeah. Or you're red. Do you need some help? Yeah, okay. 
it's a program that allows people to, to, to do that particular exercise. Um, and it allows, we allow people to just turn it off if they don't want it anymore. And that doesn't mean we take their app away from them or we say no. you don't have your portal anymore. Yeah, no. It just means that the live feed stop because they cost money. Yeah. So that people can turn that on, turn it off, do whatever they want to do on an ongoing basis. If they turn it off and leave it off and they come back to me for some advice, then I have to charge them again. And yeah. that's the idea of charging an ongoing fee yeah. for the monitoring so that we can have it live yeah. and make it real. Okay. So you're, then you're going to take them on a journey, you're going to set them up, hold their hands effectively through that process, and um, hopefully, hopefully, yeah. and see the see the, the mortgage killed off. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, oh, yeah. hopefully. Wonderful. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Jim. Thanks very much. Cheers. So thank you, Chris, obviously for coming in today and being part of the show. And um, we'll put a link down the bottom so you can link and go and have a look at uh, Chris's website and see if there's something you want to take forward yourselves. Please make sure that you subscribe to the show. And we look forward to seeing you next time on the Emerging Technologies Program. Thank you.